this world is changing very rapidly. It's going to change even more. So how do we be prepared and give our students the fundamentals, such as critical thinking, such as knowledge of languages, etc., so that these individuals will succeed in the workplace of tomorrow? We have students who truly want to learn and do well, and we've got staff who want to help our students be successful, you know, and they're committed to that. Well, what I really value about UNCW is that our whole university is set up to see students succeed. We care about students when they apply to UNCW, when they get here. We care about their classroom experience, their applied learning, and we care about what happens to them when they graduate. We care about Seahawks' success in the future, in graduate school, in their jobs, and we hope they give back. We hope they come back to UNCW and stay Seahawks for their whole life. I think the leader has to be always cognizant of what's happening. Somebody has to be thinking out there. Where's higher education going next? Not just what is, but what might be. That kind of visionary change, I think, is necessary in a leader. I think you have to have vision and passion and certainly the commitment to making it happen. Leadership, to me, has always been about helping others to achieve a common goal, really helping to coach them, collaborate, helping others see the best in them. A good leader does that on a daily basis. Being a great listener is very important because it gives the students the opportunity to express their feelings and it also helps me to just talk with them and find out what is actually on their minds. One thing that makes a really effective leader is knowing when to speak and when to listen being able to listen and being knowledgeable on a topic rather than knowing how to respond to a topic may be the best part of leadership that one can practice. For me, leadership is about passion, it's about commitment, and it's about enthusiasm. What I admire most about leaders, they care about what they're doing. They care about their job, they care about their organization, they care about students at a university. What I admire so much about Chancellor Zardarelli is that it's clear every day that he's passionate about UNCW. He's passionate about students being successful and he cares about faculty and staff contributing to that student's success. College is an opportunity, as you're giving pride to imagination, to become independent. As a young person, it means that you're going to have to now learn how to make decisions. But I see that as something to be embraced. It's an opportunity for you to come out of your cocoon and to get to know the world become independent, mature, and become a better person. Being a Seahawk means being the best you can be wherever you are. Being a Seahawk means being present. Being a Seahawk means success. Being a Seahawk means being your best self every day, giving your best, doing your best, and really impacting everyone around you for the best. Being a Seahawk means to me that I'm part of this wonderfully diverse, multifaceted institution that just provides an enriched life. So as a Seahawk, I think you're afforded all these opportunities. It's just a matter of, are you going to take advantage of them? Like they always say, once a Seahawk, always a Seahawk. I really am a Seahawk. It's just a good feeling. It really is.